Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Kenneth Adams, thank you so very much for joining me. And I want my audience to know that Dr. Kenneth Adams, he's the Chief Medical Officer for the United Healthcare, Medicare, and Retirement System. He's here with some answers and some ideas about heart disease, diabetes, and respiratory illnesses. He said they're at epidemic levels for older Americans, especially here in Texas. Dr. Uh, Adams, thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for having me, Valder. I appreciate it. I'd like to know about some research and what the research has found that can help reduce ER visits and hospital admissions for older Americans here in Texas. So as you mentioned, chronic conditions are at epidemic levels for older Americans here in Texas. They contribute to a huge number of hospital admissions. What research from WellMed has found is that coordinated care and extended care management of people with chronic conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and respiratory illness has reduced emergency room visits and hospital admissions. Doctors and medical staff have to work together to coordinate your care with a team approach. It's important that your primary care physician be involved if you're admitted to the hospital. That care has to be extended to help you avoid a relapse. Great communication is essential. So how can someone make sure that they're receiving coordinated care and extended care management? You know, doctor, you you guys, I talk to you all the time. You know, it's just like you got to be really smart not to die today. (laughs) That's really true. We recommend asking your primary care physician how they are coordinating your care with other specialists and others in the practice. Before any visit, write down any questions you might have so you don't forget. Make sure the doctor gives you the time to ask the questions you have, and you may not be aware that there are chronic special needs Medicare Advantage plans specifically designed for people diagnosed with diabetes, heart disease, or respiratory illness, and you can switch to those plans at any time. Can I say one more thing? Because I'm, I'm in the medical system as a patient. You know, you have to bring what you said, bring your questions, but you need to bring a list of medications that you're taking. You need to have a list of the doctors that are treating you because we end up with this whole list of doctors who see you one time or five times. We just have to help the doctors help us. I really believe that. I completely agree with you. Are there other options to switch to at any time uh, in health plans? Do, do we have just this one time a year that we can change or Are there any options for us and some financial assistance? So there are options. If you qualify for both Medicare and Medicaid, you have the option to switch to dual special needs advantage plans at any time of the year. Because everybody thinks it's at one time a year, you know, at the end of the year. So is there any financial assistance to them or do these plans help uh, reduce the cost? So there are higher rated five-star plans in an area, and Medicare can allow you to switch to them at any time because of that higher rating. And the five-star plans often offer additional resources uh, for their members. And when you say they say offer additional resources, from what I understand, uh, regular Medicare is plan A and plan B. They don't offer you any drugs or anything else. So how do you get a plan C and D with the optional plans? So plan, so Medicare Advantage combines A, B, and D together so that you can get prescription drug medications as part of a plan, uh, as well as offering additional resources uh, that you may not have around care management. Uh, and that's one of the big advantages of having Medicare Advantage. Okay. Doctor, thank you so much. And I'm not going to give you this question because this question comes from, or this question comes from Facebook. They say they don't understand how they can have Medicare and not have any drug coverage. 
I don't understand that one either. But that's why you guys are there, correct? Well, so you can actually have Medicare A and B that doesn't have drug coverage. That is straight Medicare. It, it's only when you get Medicare Advantage or a Medicare Part D plan that you can actually have prescriptions included. All right. There's a lot for us to learn, Dr. Kenneth Adams. Where do we go online and learn more about WellMed 365? We can help get you connected to information about the highest rated Medicare Advantage plans available for enrollment year round in your area by visiting wellmed365.com. Oh, can I ask you this question? This one comes from Twitter. They want to know, can they switch from the plan that they have that sucks? It's an Advantage plan to your plan? Of course they can, uh, especially if there's a five-star plan in that area. Uh, you can switch year-round, but there may be uh, an opportunity to exchange, uh, change during open enrollment. Okay. Dr. Adams, thank you for taking those questions off the cuff. I really appreciate that. And thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Have a great day. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.